Hello? Welcome back to another video. So the Christmas update part 1 released quicker than I expected. But anyways, here is a quick guide for you guys so nobody is confused. First of all, we got a new fruit which is above Mammoth but below Doe. So the value for this fruit is around 2.7 million, which is pretty cool I guess. But I didn't buy it, because I don't personally like the fruit. Anyways, other than the new fruit they enabled the Christmas event from last year. So you can go to the Candy Cane Island every one hour to get a random fruit from the presents event. And there is a small chance to get the Holiday Cloak accessory, which has a 3% chance to drop. However, the stats are not that good compared to the new accessories we got the Kitsune Shrine event. But anyways, most of the time you will get fruits from it, so good luck trying to get mythicals from this event. Next up, the candies are back, so you can kill NPCs around the same level as you to get 2-5 to five candies each kill, and with those candies you can buy items from the limited Christmas NPCs, you can get fragments, 2 times XP, stat refunds, race reroll, some accessories, and the sleigh boat. Getting candies is also pretty easy, but sadly you don't get a random surprise like the Halloween event. Anyways, other than the new fruit and the Christmas event, they finally added the ship repairing mechanic, but it's not really as good as I expected it to be. You need to talk to the shipwright NPC in the secret room inside of Tiki Island. Your first is to kill 20 sharks, the normal ones only. The terror shark doesn't count. I've tried it. After you do that, you get a legendary scroll as a reward, which is pretty cool. And when you talk to him again, he will ask you to buy the shipwright subclass for 3,000 fragments. Which is a little expensive, but once you buy it, you can start getting valor from killing sea monsters. I'll make a separate video on how much valor each sea event gives later. But after you unlock the class, you are able to repair boats, and you gain levels from repairing the ship. And you can get different upgrades for the shipwright class so you can see what's best for you. There are going to be more classes releasing in the future updates, so be on the lookout for that as well. And lastly, they added the holiday bundles in the shop, and it is a pretty good deal. I would recommend the Beast Bundle if you are gonna buy one, but other than that, I am going to be waiting for the Dragon Fruit rework, hopefully this coming weekend. Subscribe and like if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.